everybody, it is April here with you again today. Today I thought I'd share a quick recipe that I use a lot. I've used it for a few years now and it is chicken enchiladas. Using, you can use fresh, of course, chicken, but I always make leftovers like the other night when I did the Instapot recipe. And I have here about five cups of shredded chicken with onion because I like the flavor that it adds. You can do whatever you want for your family. I also have the corn tortillas here. Not sure if we'll need this many. And I didn't even count how many, I just kind of eyeball it. And then I have about five cups here of mozzarella cheese. And like I said, my family loves this. It's not too spicy when we use the hot for us. Sometimes if I want to be a little bit extra spicy, then I do a little serrano peppers with it as well. But I'm going to eyeball it. I usually use about two, two cans of this. And this is the 28 ounces here that I have. And I had one that I could just use a little bit and put in the fridge. So beginning this recipe, you just want to, and I am using a bigger pan, depending on your family size, you can half this recipe or do extra, whatever works for you. I'm just going to slightly do that. And then we're going to start with our enchilada sauce. You just pour some on the bottom. I always just kind of eyeball it, put about a fourth of a, an inch or so, what you think is good. And then you're going to start with your layering. And depending if you want like a side crust, sometimes I do that, but it does tend to get a little bit too crispy on the edges. So I'm just gonna layer it like this. And what I like about this recipe is you can heat it up for later. You want to send your husband off to work. Yes, we have our dogs that are being interested in the food. They like it as well. Then you're just going to come over here and dish in your chicken. Actually, sometimes what I do, I'll just pour it in here, make it easier on myself. And stir it together. I do have my oven that is being heated up as I speak, and it's going to be for 375. Depending on ovens, of course, you might need to change that. I'm gonna bake mine. We're gonna try it at a half hour and see how it goes. I haven't used this big of a pan in a while, so. Okay, once you have that all mixed together, you're just gonna layer it like you would a lasagna. And I have, I tried when I was first married to do the actual Enchiladas, it just took a lot of time with rolling them out. They tended to break on me, so I thought, I don't have time for this, and I just decided to layer it like this. And my husband doesn't mind. He likes it just the same, he said. Okay, then you're just gonna put your cheese. And we do love cheese in our house. If you want to be healthier, you can cut back on the cheese. And you're just going to repeat that process. Okay. And then you will do your final uh, tortillas. And depending what size pan you have, I have done more layers than this. But this two layers is perfect and then the last will just be this. And then you wanted to pour your last little bit that you have of enchilada sauce on the top. And then we're going to cover it with tin foil and then we're going to put it on our oven at 375 degrees for like I said a half hour to 45 minutes depending on your oven. Right, I'm just going to put my tin foil on it. And this is a little full. I might put a pan underneath just in case there is a little bit of enchilada sauce that leaks out. If you're worried about it, just don't do it quite as full as I did. Okay, now I'm going to go put it in that oven.
set my timer so I don't forget. And then I will be back to show you the finished product. All right, we just got it out of the oven, so now we're gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like. And I was gonna mention, if you guys don't like so much enchilada sauce, you can go down to one can or one and a half. We like a lot of enchilada sauce on ours. And every family's different, so just kinda go with what you guys like. With this much enchilada sauce, it does get a little runny, so. Then I garnish it. Some guacamole I just made. A little sour cream. And when I have it, I put cilantro too. We love cilantro. And there it is. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you join me next time when I'm just so bored again, I make another video.